Hey guys, hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'll be taking a look at the new Tax Sharp AI that's coming in the new version of On One 2023 that comes out in October. I still have a beta copy, so everything's not in final form. But I wanted to give you a, a preview of some of the results that I'm seeing because this is really cool stuff and really useful. Let's take a look. I've got a photo here, and as you probably know, the Tax Sharp AI is located here in the noise and sharpening area, and you have different options here. And the beautiful thing about how they're doing this is they're basically allowing you to get the Tax Sharp AI along with the no noise AI capability that they have put them together. So you can you can basically get that balance, it's the delicate dance that I sometimes talk about between how, how do I keep this thing kind of sharp and crisp and how do I soften up the noisy area so I kind of get rid of that. So it's a good way to balance that. In fact, in this video, I'm going to be working on this tab where it says both and it shows you basically how you can use those two together. So in this photo, I've just got an image that I shot here in my office. It's ISO 6400 F 4.5. But here you go. If you take a look at the results, uh, let me show you the before. You can see the before, there's definitely some noise and it's not as crisp as I would like. And if you look at this lens here in the front, even where this text is, where it says F45 uh, millimeter, all that, you can just see just how crisp that is. I think that's looking fantastically beautiful. So I wanted to point that out. And that's what this video is. I'm just gonna run through a few examples because I think you've already seen probably the on one video and I think you probably know what's coming. But over here you have your controls for the amount of noise reduction and then also the sharpening for Tax Sharp AI. Let me show you another example. Okay, this is just an image shot in a bar one night. There was no one in there. I was out shooting downtown and they let me take a couple of photographs. And if you look at the before and after, I mean, on this left-hand side, you can see kind of noisy, not really very sharp. And in fact, if you look at the uh, data up here, it's ISO 1600 F 1 1.8. So low light handheld. Um, and if you look at the results, you can just see how much crisper this image is. And I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see better. But these bottles, here along the bar just looks so much better. And if you look at the bar itself down here, you can just see that the noise is blissfully uh, gone. So love how that's working. Again, let me show you another example. Okay, this one's a portrait and you can see here ISO 1600 F 1 1.8. Again, handheld, lower light. We did have a light shining on this model, but if you take a look at like the hat and all the various fibers in this hat and her hair and things like that, everything is just so much crisper. Her eye looks better, her face is clearer, everything is just crisper. Now, I do wanna point out one thing, and there is this micro sharpening slider here in the sharpening section when you have them both. It's also on the Tac Sharp AI tab. But for things like this with fine hairs, you do wanna be careful because as you increase this micro sharpening, I find that sometimes these hairs and some of the edges get a little bit crisp and a little bit almost shiny. Now again, I've got a beta copy. I don't know if that's gonna change, but um, I, I tend to be a little bit careful with that micro sharpening slider. But regardless, I mean, if you take a look at this result, there it is afterwards. I mean, just so much better. So it's great that you're able to combine that noise reduction and that tack sharp to really get the image that you want. Let me show you another example. Okay, another portrait, and this is very zoomed in, of course. But if you look at his face, again, ISO 3200 F 1.8 low light, handheld, wide open aperture, and uh, you know, reasonably high ISO, not significantly massively crazy high, but 3200 is reasonably high for how I would normally shoot. And there it is on the left, a little bit of noise, of course, which I would expect, but also not super crisp or super sharp. And now, I mean, just look at his eyes and like his facial hair and things like that. It's just so much crisper. And this is also where I point out about the micro sharpening. You see some of these finer facial hairs do get a little bit of a white line around them. So again, I think you wanna be careful with that. You don't wanna overdo it because if you really go high, you'll see quite a bit of that. And again, I don't know if that's gonna change upon release, but it's just something that I'm noticing and I, I want you to be careful with and possibly check out on your own images. But overall, I mean, just how crisp it is and how noise free it is, honestly, just looks fantastic. And of course, by the way, I'm zoomed in really, uh, really a whole lot. So as you zoom back out to a more normal level, that micro sharpening doesn't appear quite as intense. And I got one more example for you. 
Now this example is a portrait of two people, and so I focused on her right here. So you can see she's crisped up a little bit, and there's not really a ton of noise. ISO 1600, again, F1.8, handheld, of course. So she looks a little bit better, and she was the one I was focused on. You can see the noise in the background here. If you take a look at this section here, you can see the noise in the background is just perfectly clear and gone. But what I really like about this image is how well the uh, tech sharp enhanced this other person. If you take a look, there it is before. She's quite a bit out of focus. It's really soft. And now if you look at her eyes, very crisp. And so I just love that. And again, some of these little white spots here is one of the things that I'm seeing with the micro sharpening. So if you turn that down, you get a little bit less intensity around that. And again, I don't know if that's because it's in beta or if it's just how the tool works. But in terms of focus, she looks really good and crisp, even though she was a bit soft. And again, of course, if I back up, you're not going to notice those things. You're just going to see that she's much crisper overall. So I think it's pretty cool that I can take a portrait like this where I'm focused on one person, wide open F1.8, and yet get the other person in focus. That's working really well for me. And again, it's a beta copy. So everything's not finalized, but I'm seeing some really good results from it so far. And once it's released, I'll come back and do some deeper dives on this tool, along with some of the other new tools that are coming here in ON1 2023. But I just wanted to walk through that because I'm finding really good results, and I love how it's helping me kind of de-blur, crisp up, and of course, remove noise in images like the examples I gave you today. So I'll be back soon. Hope this gives you an idea, kind of a good preview of what's coming. Thanks for watching, my friends. I'll see you soon. You guys take care, and until then, adios.